In the Symbology tab we enabled Hill Shade for this layer, but it's not very convincing. So let's turn it off. We go into the layer properties. And it's a very large file, it can take a while to load. So we go to Symbology and we'll just turn, it, turn Hill Shade effect off here. And we'll just calculate a proper Hill Shade um, with the with 3D Analyst. So in our toolbox, we go to 3D Analyst Tools and we can go to Raster Surface and we click Hill Shade and we select our input raster, so our elevation model. Uh, output raster, we'll just use the default, well, we'll just call it Hill Shade Scotland. Um, that's probably again a bit too long and we'll change the location. We'll just, I want it to be in the same. Uh, as my main files. Oh, yeah, we'll select this folder. Select this folder, save. Oh, I need to. Hillshade, save here. And we can change the azimuth, which should be the, or the uh, geographic orientation of where the sun would be coming from. So with uh, 315 the sun would be coming from the uh, northwest and at, it's at an altitude of 45 default options are usually just fine and we click OK and we wait for a while you can see ArcGIS is processing down here and now we've, we've got a hill shade so it's basically the shade of the terrain um, as it is stretched from from black to white, it's it's not very pretty, um, but it's very useful if we put make this semi-transparent and we put it over our main layer, and we can do that if I right-click anywhere here, we can get the effects tools. I'll put it back in the screen, so I'll have it here, and then we have our hill shade layer, and we can adjust the transparency. So let's make it transparent. Let's make it quite transparent, and that's. That looks much nicer at this, this setting. And as the two layers really belong together, we can select both layers. We can select both layers and put them in a group together. Group, and now they are together. And we can switch them on and off together. That looks a bit nicer.